gentlemen, and welcome back to Jonathan is Bad at Games, where today we're going to be continuing our road to level 30 in League of Legends. Now, surprisingly, the enemy team also has 280 carries, just like our team, so I guess that's going to be work how it works out. Unfortunately for me, um, Ash is no longer free, so I am going to play Graves now, and I'm not really sure what his kit entails. I know that one of them is like a spread shot, kind of like Ash's arrows, except they don't slow and they do a lot of damage. One of them is a move and attack speed dash type dealie, and he also has a smoke grenade. I don't know what his passive is. I think it has something to do with uh, armor, based on how much attack he has, or maybe... Maybe I'm wrong. I'll look at it when we get into game, but the other AD carry is going to be Quinn on our team. I think they're going to want to be the marksman, so I'll probably play the support role marksman, despite the fact that I signed up for marksman. I don't know why they accepted a second marksman, but instead of struggling with the Quinn, I think I'm just going to I'm going to bite the bullet and go support Graves. Don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if it'll work. I think Quinn might be a Quinn might have better chase, honestly. I don't know. She's got her bird form, but that's who we're gonna be facing off against bot lane also. So we're gonna have to look out for Graves' kit as well as uh <clears throat> the stuff that Quinn does. Her Q um Honestly, don't remember most of what she does. Okay, so let's look at Graves' kit. His passive is True Grit. He gains one bonus armor and magic resist every second he remains in combat, up to ten times. So that's good. He's got Buckshot, which fires three bullets in a cone, dealing physical damage. And it can hit multiple times and do damage. I should have gone with the smoke screen since I'm support. Deals 60 magic damage, creates a cloud that lasts four seconds, enemies in the cloud are slowed, and have reduced vision. Dashes forward, attack speed, and move speed. Okay, so I'm going to be going support graze, which means... I don't know what to... Okay, I guess I guess that's a good one. I'm going to go back to recommended now. The, yeah, I noticed. I already... I noticed. So this is my start. Our Quinn decided that our Quinn was so nice to decide that I was going to be support graves despite the fact that I was here first. She's got such an ego. It's I don't know how much of it's play, but when we were in the team builder thing and I got in there first and she got in there second, I was like two marksmen and she said, "Kick Graves, I'm better than him." So that's my laning partner. I'm going to try to keep a cheery face, but I bet I'm going to get slandered really hard. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Anyway, the ult is collateral damage. He fires an explosive shell that, deal that deals 250 physical damage to the first enemy it hits. After hitting an enemy champion and reaching the end of its reign, it explodes, dealing even more damage. So that's my ult. I don't remember Quinn's kit at all or I would tell you more about it. Oh, I forgot they had a Leona. So they're great. Their Quinn is mid and it's Leona and actually a Kali down bot. I'm going to take these last hits. Get it, Quinn. You wanna are you wanna you wanna be the guy. I didn't go smoke screen again. My thought is that they seem they don't seem to be too aggressive, they're both melee until Akali hits 6, in which case she gets a little scary. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let Quinn do her thing. Let's hope that her ego can fit her personality.
got her. Hey, <laughs> got her. Okay, so what Frostfang does, that's a support item. What does this distance be? I don't know what that is. But what a support item is, or rather why it's a support item, this gives me, it doesn't give me attack damage, but it gives me AP, and I get, I get additional gold for uh, hitting the enemy champions with a single target spell or an auto attack. So that's good for me because I don't have to take Quinn's farm, and it's which is good for Quinn, and I I also still get gold, and I'm not killing minions, so that's why that's good. Of course, now I get the farm because Quinn's going. Honestly, I'm not sure what to build to support Graves. This is as far as I got. Okay, so Leona tried to engage on me. I think I turned it into my favor pretty well. I took that last hit because I don't like this Quinn. That's mean of me. I shouldn't do that. I should I should let them I should let Quinn be her. I already agreed to being support. I'm being bitter now. But I can't really help it. I'm sorry. Um, it looks to me like a Kali has... Oh, they're over there. Boop. See, Quinn would have made a much better support. Look at her defending my life. I should have dashed, but... She got the kill, which, not the alarm, sorry, that wasn't so bad. Some cooldown would be nice, I might as well sell my health potion because I never remember to use it, despite the fact that I had it for a reason, I'm just so bad at this game. Let's see how our team is faring, our Darius is 3-0, and I'm 1-2, and our Quinn is 2-0, and Good for her. Our assist is, or our master E is one assist, one death. The enemy Quinn is zero zero. Enemy Graves is zero three. That's good. Enemy Akali is two and one, which is a little scary. Hope she doesn't snowball. Enemy Leona zero two, with an assist. Enemy Vladimir is one and zero. Oh. I should probably put the stealth ward down. I should probably get a trinket. I'm so good at this game, guys. Like I. I don't even know how they get pro players like me to play in like uh, these low level games like this. Like I, I don't get it. Like I should, I'm so far ahead of the game. I'm s I'm so good. Like I don't even worry about it. Okay, Akali, I would appreciate it if you respected my distance here. Okay. Sorry. I get quiet when things get tense. I notice that, and I don't mean to. I'm sorry. I should probably explain what's going on in my head right now. Because that's obviously what you came here for in commentary. I was... Ah, Kali, you stay away from me! You... Ah, good... 
I'm gonna put some damage on this turret. I need to get out of there. Nope. I got my ult though. Oh god. Oh, that was my bad. I went too hard. That was my flaw. I never claimed to be good. I agreed with you that I was, in fact, bad. So I'm sorry if you're angry, but I tried to be AD carry. It's the role I've been playing. But I'm building AP graves, apparently, because I've got a freaking uh, Frost Queen's Claim, which now is an active. Fires an Ice Lance dealing true damage. I don't know what that means. I don't, or I know what that means, but I don't know what that does. True damage is basically damage that happens regardless of their... Back. I'm not going to be able to... Quinn, if you're going in, I'm not going to be able to help you out, buddy. I forgot my trinket again. You guys need to remind me about my trinket. Let me just lead her on a wild goose chase. Go ahead and take her out if you can, Quinn. Good job. Okay, now what do I build? I should probably build a ruby scythe stone. That's a tank. That's a thing, right? A scythe trinket. Don't forget my trinket. Thank you guys for reminding me. I almost forgot. No, wait. I probably, I probably need to undo that and go for the sweeping lens trinket. Okay, so we seem to be doing pretty well bot lane, at least for support graves. I haven't really played the role of support very frequently in this mode. I played Taric, I played support Lulu. I wasn't a very good support, but Graves isn't meant to be a support, so I don't really know how to play him in the support way. I feel like I'm doing alright, but I don't have the attack damage to back it up. Right now I just have my base scaling AD. Okay, Akali, our Akali's fed, that's good. I'm doing terrible. I'm not really sure what to do. This is my first time playing Graves really in a game. I 
I haven't got time to bleed. I feel like he, you know, obviously he's an AD carry, so it's kind of upsetting that I'm being support right now. I don't mean upsetting in that support's not a good role to play or that I wouldn't play support. It's just uh, being support graves is kind of just like one of those things where it's like, man, I wanted to play an AD carry. I signed up to be an AD carry. Why am I not an AD carry? Why am I a support? At least the scaling on his uh, freaking smoke pellet is awesome. Let me go ahead and put a ward out over here. Wait, are they saying me or the other graves? If they're talking about me or the other graves. If they're talking about the other graves, that I'm doing an awful job. Or they're talking about me, graves. What is this distance B stuff? I don't understand what that is. I'm sorry. Okay, basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing lane. Leona's coming that way. I don't have anything to deal with her. I guess I could keep auto attacking. Oh, they're leading me back to Akali. I should have been paying attention. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. What are support items? Can I just type in support? No. Um. Huh. What are other support items? What is this? Di what is that? I don't understand what this is. Distance B. What is that? Am I missing something? I Aegis of the Legion, that's that's an item. That's a support item. What about boots? That's cool. I can use boots. Might as well use ghost. Why haven't I used ghost? Oh. 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 I haven't used ghost because it was on cooldown. I've needed it. I just haven't had it. And now I just wasted it to get back into lane. I'm so good. At this game, I'm so good at support. I'm so good at ju just everything. I'm good at everything I do. What is Master Yi? Why is he glowing like that? What did you build? Three hunters machetes.
Okay, I I lost track of what happened there myself. All I know is that I'm doing things. Okay, what am I doing? I'm attacking turret. That's that's happening. Okay, uh, I don't know that I can engage. I don't have my uh, smoke screen up, and that's my damage dealer. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Um, buh, 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 buh. I don't. Aegis, that's what I was building. I'm building support items because I'm totally support graves. I'm sorry guys, this is probably awful to watch if you're even still watching. But we're 20 minutes in and we're about to push an inhibitor so I guess... See the bad thing is this Quinn probably thinks she's super awesome and I'm super bad just like she anticipated despite the fact that I'm playing a role that I'm not meant to be playing as graves. And I probably could have done halfway decent as an 80 carry Graves. I don't know if I would have, but I have. N I'm not building to Graves' strengths, and I'm obviously much weaker for that reason. If I had damage, I feel like I'd be much more of a presence in the game. But I'm not, so I just got to deal with that. I guess I'll put a ward down. That's what I do. That's. I think I do. Okay. Enemy team surrendered. That was a terrible game for me. But we won. The enemy team surrendered. Our team carried us. They were all good. Even the Quinn was probably better than I want to give her credit for because... Oh. Oh, I got an icon. Hold on. Let me, let me switch over so you can see that. I got my marksman icon. Oh, marksman and support, dude. I, I don't know what this. And she is just so cocky. She's she's got to be a Smurf, like a bigger Smurf than I am, if she's gonna try to give everyone advice on how to play their roles. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a fan of this Quinn, you guys. I don't know if I'm being too judgmental. Maybe I'm being too judgmental. I don't know. This Quinn is just like calling the enemy team out on how badly they played, which I don't know how badly they played. They kicked my butt because I was support Graves, but they might have been better than this Quinn is giving them credit for. I was really out of place there. I did this Quinn just kick Graves because I'm better than him. Oh boy. Getting hate up in here. I don't know what to say. Good game. <laughs> That's what I forgot to say. Anyway, let's see how the builds were going. I was trying to build support graves. Don't know why they put me as a support, but they did. Great. Or she went bloodthirster, two Dorn's blades, so she had life steal, attack damage. Also, if you're upon dealing damage, single target or attack grants twelve percent movement speed. So she had. She had two fears. Unique passive fear. Do Berserker's Greaves not... Is that specifically for... I thought Berserker's Greaves just did that naturally. Uh, I, I guess not. I guess that's just... Berserker's Greaves just give attack speed. No, I didn't know that. Huh. Well. She built a pickaxe. So she had damage coming in. Darius had magic resist and attack damage. And every health he missed, he got stronger. So he was building bruisery, tanky thing. I, or just bruisery, rather. 
The lower his health was, the stronger he got. He also had life steal to keep him alive. Merc treads for magic resist and tenacity, which keeps you from being stunned, rooted, and slowed for as long. It kind of cuts that down, attack damage from the longsword. Akali was building hybrid mage, which was it worked for her. She's 11 No, I don't really know much about Akali, but she had armor from Zanya's hourglass as well as a bunch of ability power and a stasis that makes her invulnerable for a few seconds. Really strong. Ability power and spell vamp from her Hextech revolver, which I'm guessing would have gone into a hybrid uh, Hextech gunblade or something else. I don't know what else it builds into. I know it's something else, but it's a hybrid item that gives attack damage and magic damage and spell vamp and lifesteal and all that stuff, which is good for her because she's a hybrid sorcerer. She's for magic pin, vamp scepter, scepter for lifesteal. That was probably going with the Hextech gunblade into something else. I don't know what it was, though. Master Yi had three hunter's machetes, so he could do a bunch of damage to minions or jungle monsters because he was the jungler. So I guess that was the thing. I don't know how that worked for him. Zero six three. Okay, buddy. Uh, the enemy graves. I, why did he have an amplifying tome? Why did he have a quill coat? I don't know these things. I don't know these answers. A targa or a relic shield. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know. I I don't know what he was doing. Zero eleven. I have no idea what he was doing. Enemy Akali was going for the Meiji thing, which is fine. Cooldown reduction and magic resist pin. She was pretty strong, and I couldn't do much to stop her. And then there was also Leona doing her thing, being armory. Face of the mountain, health and armor, cooldown reduction. Oh, that's not from that, but she had armor over here. She had armor, health, health regen, cooldown reduction, and sight. Which is good for her because she's a support, a tanky support by that. Or also, whatever, by that. Also, I don't care. <laughs> uh, Vladimir was going pretty tanky for Vladimir, I think. A Negatron Cloak, a Doran Shield, and Will of the Ancients provide some sustain and tankiness. While Will of the Ancients, Amplifying Tome, and Sorcerer's Shoes provide more magic damage and penetration and Spell Vamp. Well, Spell Vamp was for the tanky stuff, wasn't it? Anyway... Enemy Quinn had a BF sword, a spell... Okay, so these two items make it seem like she's going for her Bloodthirster, which is good. 50 attack damage, 10 attack damage, and lifesteal. Attack speed, also lifesteal, and some health. So Quinn was building right. I just think our Quinn was a smurf. Probably everyone on our team was a smurf. The Akali, the Darius, and the Quinn were probably smurfs. Is my... Bigger smurfs than me. Like, I'm just... I'm just a level 30 smurf. They were probably ranked smurfs, I think. They were ranked, and they started a new account. They were far better than I was. I don't know about the Quinn specifically. I think I could have done more if the Quinn had let me go AD carry. Maybe not as good as her. Maybe even better than her. I, it's hard to tell. I was too busy complaining that I was a support to really do anything. I tried to take my role in stride, but... It's hard to do when you're an AD carry playing support. Like, there's not a lot of supporting you can do. It's just not very well done. And I leveled up, so we're going to go ahead and put our points into... Leveled up and got my icon, which is awesome. I'm going to change my icon right now to this. Okay. Now I'm a marksman. But yeah, Ash is no longer free, so I couldn't play her, which is... I wanted to continue that. But Graves is pretty cool. I liked playing Graves. Who's free this week? It says Ash is free, but I can't play her. Is it because I'm a certain level and they're giving me different champs to work with? No idea. I do not understand. I don't understand. But anyway, Masteries. I leveled up, so I got to put a point in here. I'm going to continue going down the Fury route for more attack speed. Save that. And I'm also going to go ahead and set up an AP page just in case. Actually, I should probably go with Mage, is what I'm going to call that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put points into Sorcery instead and Butcher for the sake of last hits. Because when you're a Mage, you also have to have last hits. That's for my, if I go mid lane or an offensive AP character, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, also, Support... Since I don't know if I'm going to get stuck again. 
Increases the cast range of trinkets. That might be good. S movement speed. Reduces time of recall. Meditation would be good. And I'm also going to put the cast range on the trinket. That's where I'm going to put for support. And then tank. Maybe bruiser. I'm just going to put tank for now. There's no reason to specify the differences just yet. And I'm going to go ahead and put two into block. Uh, and I guess two into recovery for that health regen though. And that's what I'm going to put my points into. Those are my four mastery pages now. Just in case I get stuck doing something else. But I got my uh, marksman icon, so I might switch roles for the sake of getting other icons, which would be nice. Because I want all of the icons, I don't just want the one icon. That's not good enough for me, guys. I have to have them all. Like a, like Pokemon. Anyway. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. If you enjoyed to want to see more, subscribe. There's social media links in the description below. And as always, remember that happiness is whatever you define it as so don't let other people do it for you failure is not the worst thing that happens so go after your dreams be happy be the person you want to be be yourself embrace who you are and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise because trying to chase other people's happiness for them is likely going to leave you being unhappy because their idea of happiness is different from yours and no matter what they want for you you've got to decide what you want for yourself and go for it and that's all the time we have for today <clears throat> See you guys in the next episode. Talk to you later. So stay cool, stay frosty, stay. Is that what I'm gonna start saying? That's such a weird thing to say. It's got. I'm not even ice themed. Like I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. So I'm gonna give me uh, someone in the description description below or someone in the comment section below, not descriptions. Give me an in phrase that I will start saying. Honestly, maybe I should do it for every video. Every video in the comments, leave an end phrase for me to say. And within reason, that will be my end phrase for that video. Or the next video, rather. Until then, I'm going to just stay, stay frosty like an awkward little nerd that I am. So, stay frosty. Oh, what is that noise? Nah. Nah. No. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, ish! Please do not do that again.